from Yakimoto, Moto, and this is my first episode where I'm not seated on my bike. I have a Clash of Clans playlist down below, and if you'd like me to migrate it to a separate channel, please leave me a comment, because if you find it annoying, then I'll move it. So anyway, I've been asked a couple of questions by a couple of people, like, give me an introduction to your bike, show us your gear, stuff like that, but mostly it's, what's your camera setup, and do you do your narration live? So anyway, the answer is yes, I do all my narration live, and here is my camera setup. Can you see it? So let's check it out, the rest of my camera setup. Alright, so here's my helmet stripped down, and it is by far the prettiest helmet I've seen. It's an LS2 FF320. You can get it at Motor World for Motor World Motor Market for about 3,800 pesos. It's my favorite. I have a couple of other helmets. I've got an HJC, a Bell, but this one just looks so good. So therefore, I am going to use it till it smells like a freaking locker room. So you can check out the features here. I'm going to put them on the screen. Features. But what I like about it is that it has this, an inner visor. And I really look for that in a helmet because, I don't know, it. it I think it's very helpful there. So everybody's asking me what camera I'm using. I'm using this. Ta-da! It's a GoPro Hero 4 Black. Actually, I would have been okay getting the GoPro Silver, but they didn't have it in stock, so I ended up with the GoPro Hero 4 Black. And you know, I'm such a sucker, so you know, when people say, do you want price with that? I'll be like, okay. So the lady was like, do you want the LCD touch backpack? So yeah, why the hell not? And then I realized after I bought it that I don't need it because it's bulky. If you connect it to the camera, it becomes like a third of the size bigger, becomes heavier, and then it takes up battery. And then you have the app anyway if you want to use it. So this is what it looks like with the LCD. You do not have to get that if you're moto vlogging. Well, at least I don't think so. So your GoPro comes with a standard case. And then it comes with like mounts and mounts and mounts and mounts. And mount yay more mounts and you become like a gopro accessory whore and then it also comes with like adhesives and stuff some say that you know that why not you know use the adhesive you know you could put the adhesives like over here then you have like that head mount thingy or you can put it on the side and you have a side mount thingy but then, you know, I was like worried. I'm going to go really fast. What if it falls off? So what you need to do is buy this. This is the vented helmet strap. And you can get it at any GoPro accessory attic shops. I think they sell this one for like 350 or to 750 You can get a generic brand. I got the GoPro brand because it had this like rubbery thing. But if you get the generic one, I think, you know, you can easily get like a rubber mat and CDR cake or something. So how are you going to mount it on? Let's put my butt pillow. <laughs> Not a butt pillow. It could be a butt pillow. Your lovely helmet I'm using on LS2. And, you know, even if it has this like chin vent here, which is going to be useless once I put on this, this strap. So you just take out... This rubber thing, take that shit out. And then you're gonna take out the chin skirt as well. There, so that you have like the chin area completely free. Ah, nice, nice helmet. All you have to do is tie this on here, like so, okay? Put it in there, and then the other one, just wrap it around. I mean, you're smart, you can figure it out. So when you have your vented helmet strap on, strap, strapped on, when you have your strap, <laughs> when you, anyway, when you have your vented helmet strap strapped on, okay, then, you know, you just mount it here, but then, you know, it will be like sideways and you cannot adjust that. Well, you probably can, but it's such a hassle. So this is where the mounts and mounts and mounts and mounts and mounts of happy mounts comes in. You're going to look for this, the J mount and the three-way pivot arm comes with a gopro so you don't have to buy this all you need to do is buy the vented helmet strap put the three-way joint and there you go you put on your camera you can easily mount your gopro 
on to your strap on. I mean, your vented helmet strap. <laughs> Ta-da! It's fixed. There, you can start moto vlogging. I started with a waterproof case because you know you think if it rains in the Philippines, you know it's a tropical country, it rains, so you have the waterproof case. But then what happens is the audio is so bad because the microphone is inside. So what I did was I changed to the open back case. So you can easily just change that. It's so easy with a GoPro, you just pop it off. Yeah, that was easy. Put your camera on, right? The thing with the open back case, I mean, it's good if your camera, you know, if the weather is hot, it keeps, you know, th there's airflow. But then, you know, when you're driving, then all you hear is the wind. And that's where the audio gets so bad. This is where the microphone comes in. Over here, the standard lapel mic, you can get it at a pro audio shop. Mine is a Boya. Boya! Woohoo! The thing with my Boya is that, you know, it needs a battery for it to work. And you need those watch batteries. And then if you forget to, like, turn it off, then you run out of battery. And that's where, you know, like, I have, like... Wow, like batteries, like so many batteries. Anyway, you can get the actual, I think GoPro has an actual lapel mic, which you can buy, you can easily find it online. Currently, they're selling it at You Pound It. You know, get it? You Pound It. Did you find it? You can find it in You Pound It. YouPoundIt.com. You go check out their website. I also got my micro SD card over there. Okay, the problem with the microphone is if you're using a standard GoPro case, you cannot put the jack inside. It just doesn't fit. Damn it. So this is the next problem is you need to get a skeleton case. I mean, if you want to connect anything, you need to get a skeleton case. Very smart, GoPro. Very smart. You're turning everybody into an accessory whore. It's like I have to buy more accessories and more and more because I don't have enough. But what you can do is you can get a generic case, and that's what I did was I got this lovely blackout generic case on Candid Shop. I will put their link down below. You can order it online here in the Philippines and they will deliver it to your house within well, within the week or within three days or something like that. You can get a cheap case and drill a hole, just like what I did over here. You can drill a hole and it's so professionally done, yeah. It's like a perfect, perfect lines. <laughs> So you get this nice, lovely, cheap case, you know, you can pick a color and then you can put the skeleton back here, over there, nice cheap case, and voila, your microphone Ta -da! is going back to my butt pillow and my helmet, there, very good, there you go. So. These lapel mics over here, this is the microphone, and it comes with a windscreen, which I lost to the wind, because yeah, I was going so fast and it just flew off for some reason. Anyway, you can get them, they're really cheap. You can go to Raon and buy them. So my Boya, Boya, I just, I just clip it on over here to the vented strap, okay? And the microphone attachment, you know, they're extra long. I have no idea why why they make these things so long. So all you have to do is slip it in the helmet, roll up your wires, just take out the side, tuck it in, there, there, and then put your rubber thingy back on like here. There you have it. You're ready to moto vlog. Just talk it to the camera and say all this random shit. So, if you like my video, please give it a like. Woo! Like, like, subscribe, and peace out. I'll see you for the next gear episode. Yeah!